Hello and welcome to my Feed the Beast reboot. Um, here, let me fix my Skype really quick, make sure nothing comes through. Alright, here he goes, my reboot. And I've installed some mods onto this world. So I'm playing uh, Tech World on the Feed the Beast launcher. Feed the Beast is a, uh, is a Minecraft mod pack launcher. It's similar to that of Minecraft. It, but this time you don't have to manually install any mods, you can just play some great mod packs. It's quite amazing. Can't even figure out how to put mods onto regular vanilla Minecraft anyways. Here I am, I've heavily modified this, I've got flintlock pistols, I've got stuff all like that. I've got some basic starting tools, some bread, I raided that chest. Those over here, and it is time to get started. So in this mod, uh, there are a couple things. There, so there's Gascraft, which I, which is a very dangerous mod. If you ever heard of it, basically, it, there's gases, there's natural gas, there's neurotoxins, there's toxic gas, corrosive gases, lots of dangerous and deadly stuff. There's industrial craft, um, build, build craft. Uh, I think red power was removed. I think I'll get like a, a version of that and add that onto. But this is a great pack. It's nice and fun. So here we are in a. Fix my headset here. In a just a giant border between ocean. Well, this is actually beach. And the forest. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Pretty cool here. Um, it's time to get started, though. I gotta get my a little hut sort of sorted out. Uh, make a foolish move and put it on the beach over here. It's gonna be kind of crappy, but it will work for the time being. So I am not so I am not noob at Minecraft, as you can probably tell from all my other videos. I know my ways around things. Been around since 1.7 beta. Minecraft has changed a lot for me, so don't, there is the casual expectation of me not being able to figure out one or two things because it's changed. But oh well. Let's jump this down. Jump this down. One one thing is that since since I'm such a computer junkie, I do do things off camera a little bit, like uh, building projects, thing mining, I experimentation with some mods off camera. But mo most of the highlights that I have will be on camera, which is kind of nice knowing that you can trust me about 98% of the time, almost. Yeah. What are we doing on time? Oh yeah, we've got plenty of time still. It's quite nice. Yeah, I record in about four 40 minute blocks. Kind of similar to that of Alexander almost. So I can make about three episodes block. It's quite interesting. Although it is a little lonely out here. Here we go. My crappy wooden hut. How amazing is this? Got my pistol. Let's test it out on the sheep over here. Oh, that's actually pretty powerful. Which is good. It's good to have a nice powerful weapon to keep you keep the monsters at bay. It's a black wool. Boom. And there is a bed. For me to sleep in for the night whenever it comes. So the so my first objective always is to obtain a sort of source of food. Bread, cows, sheep, that nature. Um, I usually tend to go for w bread because it's got a uh, it's got a nice rate of turn. Some poison. But it does take forever for the farm to actually start setting up. Only got about five seeds, which you know, it's not very good. Let me dig up some dirt so I can set up, set a farm out in the middle of the village. So 
we'll get about a stack of dirt almost. And it'll provide a good base of farming for us. Since I'll be farming sheep, which will be important in some of the mods. Cattle, pigs, and wheat, and other sorts of types of food items. So I got a stack of nine. Which will be plenty good enough for me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. So if you didn't know this, uh, water will spread to approximately four in any angle. So that's one, two, three, four. So if you have a water source over here, it is possible if connected by other waterlogged farming blocks for it to spread out. So the most efficient way to, to farm is by doing these kind of little squares. It's not by rows or anything, it's squares. It's the most efficient water farming use. Don't bother with what the villagers are doing. That's not nearly as efficient as this can be. So the good news is, um, I do have a bed. So once I finish my f my uh, farm up, I'll be able to eventually get some iron, move some water in here, and get a good source of food. See, it does provide actually quite a bit of space for uh, farming. It's quite, it's quite nice actually. Oh, I'm actually out of dirt. It's like a little bit more than a bit of dirt over here. It's not a problem. We need some kind of forest over here. Nice lush dirt. Go back, and we have this amazing. Area eight. I think it's a nine by nine. So, so that'd be about 80, 80 wheat I can get from one of those. It's time for bed. Get in here. Go around here. And it's morning. It's quite nice to be up in the morning. So the first thing. Um, I actually need to achieve is a mine. Now, if you're not familiar with Minecraft, a mine is. Ooh. Silly skeleton. Oh. Skeletons are hard with the chain armor. So anyways, um, if you're not familiar with Minecraft, you basically mine and craft materials, which is kind of in its name. It's okay, didn't know what you had to do in the first place. But a mine is incredibly important for Minecraft itself. You need to get the iron, the and, and if you have mods, copper, and other materials, you can even get uranium from this since industrial craft is installed. It's got 40, 40 spruce. I have enough wood in order to make a little. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Make a little entrance to a mine shaft. Okay. So, well, no skeletons. Yeah, pickaxe is a major sort of image of Minecraft. It's quite nice. Wood up here. Alright, so anyways, it's pretty crappy, but I don't care. 
confused for me some ways. And now we're getting into the stone. Useful stuff, stone. Which have plenty of room for stairs that I'll later add. Some people find stairs a little annoying in mine shafts, but I find that they kind of help speed up things. So we'll make it a rather tall mine shaft. For resources. So. Oh, and here's our first little bit of iron here. Iron is an important resource, as most of us know. It's used for making armor, anything from armor, tools. Just about anything you can imagine, really. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you can find caves. Oh, I know why it looks so bad. Because the lighting isn't on. Oh, I didn't know. It was. Huh, weird. Oh, what's this? This is red fluorite. Hmm. Didn't know fluorite glowed. It probably really doesn't, but you know. Things. So mining, so morning mining can be a tedious task, but the main thing what I'm looking for is coal. Coal you can use to make torches, which help light up your house. So now I have plenty of cobblestone for expansion of my house, and my base. Let's run over. Let's make a furnace. Go chop some logs. And you can burn these logs for what it essentially is fuel. You can burn these logs and turn them into charcoal, which is the same as coal and provides you some decent kind of expand your fuel by quite a bit here. One here, right there. Once that's done, you can take the charcoal and stick it underneath. Let's burn some saplings here. Spruce saplings. So we desperately need stuff. So now that we have charcoal, we can actually light up the places. Take a furnace, right there. Oh. Interesting. So now we have charcoal. I'll stick it in here. Take our iron and put it there. It's pretty simple stuff, actually. Oh, we're gonna make some torches to light up our mine. Monsters spawn in the dark, and that's not what we currently want. It's a no-no. Let's go stick some torches down here. So now it's all lit up. Now I can press F7. And it'll show me exactly where mobs will spawn. So these two places are where mobs can always spawn. However, when you go up, any place that's yellow is a mob is an area where mobs can spawn if it's nighttime. Boom. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting this mod. Ad adds a lot of uh, actual depth to it. And I got some iron. We can now officially start our farm. So we got a bucket. We need to make a hoe. And let's go find some water and make a well. So water will actually regenerate into an infinite source. And I'm actually going to do that even though the ocean is right here. So there's no salt water in Minecraft, which is a little strange, but that's just how things work. 
Now, stone hill. you a lot better growing rate than dry dirt. So you can uh, find skeletons and kill them to get their bones, which can make bone meal, which then in turn can speed up the growth of your wheat plants. But also uh, your, your fields can get trampled, so I'm going to make a fence to prevent any mobs or any chickens or any cows or anything from going over there and ruining my crop, thus killing me because then I wouldn't have any food. Bunch of sticks. Yeah, 52 should do. And look at that, we still have, we have 18 fences, which is likely not enough. No, it is not, sadly. We're still quite a bit off. Wow. Look at that. Just make a bunch more. Alright, so 16 fences. That should be almost enough. Now we've got 12. So it should be enough fencing to keep all my wheat safe. Oh dear. I'm actually a little low. But that's okay. Let's get in there. The rest of our iron, get the rest of our charcoal. Ah, oh, tis good. I'm gonna need to expand my house in just a little bit. It's starting to get a little cramped, which it's not a good if you want to keep yourself sane. Go chop down a bunch of wood, which is also important. Second day is soon to approach. Nom nom nom. Got all the wood. It's night time, see? It's about night time. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is uh, the end of episode one. However, I'm still recording in a block, so it's, yeah. Please subscribe, like this video, share it with everyone, get your friends to view it. Still a little growing channel. Please, please subscribe, give me some hints as to what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I'm doing right so I can make sure I can entertain a better and bigger audience. Have a good one, folks. See you later.